We're in sweet home Chicago where this pizza maker has one big problem with his pizza. It's not crispy. It's, it's soft. Although the existing thermostat indicates the oven is well over 650. The temperature is not right yet. It's supposed to be a 475. The customer complains, that's all I see. Yeah, exactly. This is one serious piece of machinery and it must have proper temperature control to operate. And instead of swapping this temp control out with an original unit which costs a small fortune, if it even is available, we're going to install this MT622E high temperature controller from full gauge. And the range on this is 32 degrees to 1112 degrees so let's get to work first thing we're going to do is find out where this existing temp controller ties into and open up that box next we'll disconnect the wires coming from the existing controller so we get that out of the box this is the plate we're going to use to mount the controller it's going to go right over here like this that looks pretty good i don't know what that hole was for originally but now it's for the controller Alrighty, got the plate in. Want to check the voltage on this gas valve real quick to make 100% sure that it's 115 volts. Yep, and it is right there, 110. I'm gonna install a temp sensor where the existing sensor is. I'm gonna leave the old one in there that way. At least it's doing something, you know. All right, so here's our wires. Um, this is kind of the colors we've been using on full gauge. We got white is neutral, obviously. Red is the hot going to the uh, circuit. Black is the hot going to the controller power. So these two go together. And then this is our hot right here coming from our power supply. Now this is our green, our switch power coming from the controller. This is going to go to our hot side of the gas valve. So we got our type J thermal couple, 10 and 11. 10 and 11 here. And you want to strip about six millimeters or a quarter inch of the insulation off the wire because when you put this wire in the terminal, the insulation butts right up against the terminal block and eliminates the possibility of a short circuit. All right, we're ready to turn on the oven. First thing we have to do after we turn on the controller, hold both keys up and down to get into the function menu. And now, here we go, function 01, set, put the passcode, it's 231 to change the, uh, we're gonna change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. 231, set, Fahrenheit, set, now it's in Fahrenheit. Now next thing we gotta do is set the temperature of the oven. Hold the set key. Make sure we can see that. Set point one is 68. What do you want the oven at, Lorenzo? 475. 475, okay. 475, set. Oh, there it goes, I just heard it turn on. Yes, sir. Looks like our controller retrofit was a huge success. The owner's happy. Very happy. That's what I want since the beginning. I'm happy, the oven's happy. And when it comes to controlling temperature, there's nothing more consistent than digital control. And with consistent temperature comes consistent results. Looks great to me. Tastes great too. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna finish eating my pizza. I'll see you in the next video.